Piece by piece, we're going to assemble this video with 25 secrets from the LEGO Super Mario Universe. Much more than just a toy that recalls the entire history of Nintendo's plumber. Put on your favorite power-up and hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications. We're going to put together the 25 secrets of LEGO Super Mario. This is LEGO Super Mario, the first interactive toy resulting from LEGO's collaboration with Nintendo. He's cute, but people were a bit scared when they first saw him turned off, with black eyes as if he were dead, or worse. When he's running out of batteries, Mario will get sad and turn off. In Paper Mario, we've always been able to see what Super Mario's house looks like, something rather rare in the plumber's platform games. The Mario house in Yoshi's set represents the same house that we can see in the games, complete with its red roof, Mario sign, and mailbox. A small detail is that, in these games, Mario and Luigi live together, although there's no trace of Luigi here. Before LEGO Luigi was announced, LEGO Mario started mentioning him in his dreams, as if he knew what was coming. Luigi! Luigi! This promotional strategy worked out, drawing attention to LEGO Luigi even before he was announced. If you get more than 100 coins in a LEGO Super Mario level, fireworks will appear on the character's screen. In the original games, Mario gains a life instead. But remember, you can't die in LEGO Super Mario. The Boss Sumo Bro Topple Tower set introduces us to a lesser-known enemy who only appears in two games in the whole series. The first one was Super Mario World for Super Nintendo, where he would stand on blocks, hit the ground, and shoots rays at lower platforms. This has little to do with what LEGO Super Mario does, where he climbs to the top of the tower until he falls off. Ever wondered how LEGO Super Mario works? Well, this little toy is full of sensors that allow it to calculate its speed, acceleration, and orientation while playing with it. But what gives the most information to the toy is this. LEGO Mario has an optical sensor on the bottom that allows him to scan barcodes, as well as identify the color of surfaces and react to them. These codes we were talking about earlier are printed on LEGO pieces, and this has been the first time that this has been done for a reason. Since LEGO Super Mario is entirely aimed at children, the use of stickers has been avoided so that there are no problems in their placement and the game works perfectly. LEGO Super Mario is not Mario's first foray into construction toys, although it is the most original. In 2020, LEGO acquired the Nintendo license to create Super Mario toys, but before that, the privilege belonged to NEX Company, which launched a bunch of Mario Kart toys, as well as construction sets inspired by the Super Mario Bros. and Super Mario Land series. LEGO NES is a non-functional toy console that LEGO launched in collaboration with Nintendo. It displays the Super Mario Bros. game on the TV, and when combined with LEGO Super Mario, he will act as a transmitter to narrate all the sounds that should be playing on the TV through his speaker. And this console hides a very curious secret in its rear internal part. The platforms represented are the final part of Super Mario Bros. Level 1-2. Not 100% accurate, but with some details that make it unmistakable, like the three pipes that connect with the rest of the worlds. LEGO Mario also goes on an adventure in the Nintendo 64 worlds in the LEGO question mark block. This creation contains four worlds from Super Mario 64, bob -omb Battlefield, Cool Cool Mountain, Peach's Castle, and Lethal Lava Land. We can play with Mario to find 10 stars scattered throughout them, performing a series of secret actions like visiting the castle gardens, spinning Mario clockwise, or looking for hidden red coins. If we get the 10 hidden stars from the LEGO question mark block and scan Yoshi, we will get 100 coins as a reward. This is a reference to Super Mario 64, where Yoshi gave us 100 lives if we got the 120 stars in the game. Although we already have LEGO Mario, LEGO Luigi, Larry, or Yoshi, the LEGO question mark block includes minor versions of the Super Mario characters that appeared on Nintendo 64. These are reduced to their bare minimum with a Mario where the only identity identifiable thing is his mustache, or a peach recognizable by her color combination only. The LEGO question mark block has a secret level hidden inside. If we lift a hidden front cover, we can find Bowser, and further down will be the stage of his final battle, you know, where we had to throw him into some spike balls surrounding the stage. If Mario has an accident and gets hurt, Luigi will worry about his brother and ask if he's okay. 
This phrase is pretty endearing considering they're just toys. Gotta love Nintendo giving us those Toy Story vibes. LEGO Super Mario's enemies will have very different effects on the character. As you know, Goombas or Koopas can be damaged when stepped on, but others are invulnerable to the plumber's stomps. For example, if we touch a poisonous mushroom, Mario will get dizzy. Ever wondered what LEGO Super Mario looks like inside? The toy seems to have eyes in a screen in its center, but when disassembled, the truth is actually very different. LEGO Super Mario has a single large screen on the entire front and holes for the eyes, mouth, and suit, so the rest of the screen would be off. It's actually quite creepy to see Mario completely naked. There's an existential inconsistency with a LEGO question mark block set. This set contains the worlds of Super Mario 64, but the most absurd thing is that, precisely in that game, there are no question mark blocks. In its worlds, there are exclamation mark blocks where we can find items, but no question mark blocks to be found. LEGO Super Mario doesn't always run smoothly. Sometimes the toy will get stuck especially when connecting with the app. In this case, the best option is to put it in hard reset mode and make it undergo a complete restart. To do this, you have to press the two rear buttons of LEGO Super Mario until the toy turns off. After this, Mario will lose his memory and return to his initial state. LEGO Super Mario can dress up in different outfits, sold separately, of course, that can even compete with Barbie. These include the Fire Flower, the 3D World Cat Suit, the Super Hammer from Mario Maker, the Penguin Suit from Mario Bros. Wii, as well as the Helicopter, the Frog from Classic Mario Bros. 3, and also Tanuki Mario. The last one is Bee Mario, and it's the only representation of Super Mario Galaxy in LEGO Super Mario. There is actually a significant change in Mario's colors in some of his suits, but there is a good reason for it. Because LEGO Mario's shirt is not interchangeable, and to avoid everything having the same color, there are changes in his overalls. This happens with Fire Mario and Builder Mario, whose overalls change to white and yellow, respectively. Some sets have special challenges that make Mario emit sounds from different games in the saga. For example, in the Wiggler or Piranha Plant minigame, Mario will play the Super Mario Bros. 3 bonus song. The battle against Bowser will make the Super Mario World enemy theme play. the Koopa Desert song will play when scanning the Desert Poke set. In addition to Mario, fans have always wanted other Nintendo franchises to have LEGO versions too. On the LEGO Ideas website, where everyone can design LEGO versions of their favorite sagas, there are tons of versions of Nintendo franchises such as Animal Crossing or The Legend of Zelda. Unfortunately, none of these have been approved yet. Stepping on enemies will give us reward coins, but depending on what type of enemy we attack, Mario will make one sound or another. For example, if he steps on a Goomba, the normal sound will play. If he steps on a Cheep Cheep or another aquatic enemy, we'll hear water. If he steps on a ghost, you'll hear a ghostly laugh. Because it's a ghost and ghosts can't be stepped on. Oh, also, if he steps on a bomb, bomb it'll make a sound as if a bomb were about to explode. LEGO Mario was announced on a random day, as Nintendo had been doing with its announcement in recent years, but apparently due to the COVID-19 pandemic, this announcement was delayed and was going to be presented in a Nintendo Direct. Some companies like Game even announced that we would have news about LEGO Super Mario in a Nintendo Direct, which never existed, and all this even before its existence was revealed. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss anything about Super Mario and Nintendo. And here we leave you with some more videos about Super Mario. See you next time!